Today we are going to talk about a special kind of drill and drill bit called an SDS drill and SDS drill bit. Um, I did know at one point what SDS stood for. I know it was invented by Bosch, I believe, some years ago. Um, and I thought we already had it on our website, but I went to have a look and I can't find it anywhere. So if you know what SDS stands for, perhaps you'll be good enough to tweet us or put it on Facebook um, so that we can, uh, we can share it amongst the rest of the, uh, the population. But essentially, regardless of what it stands for, SDS is something that we use in the trade an awful lot. Um, it's a drill bit that is designed, and a drill that is designed to, they, they grip each other. Um, you can see that by, in an SDS chuck, you simply pull the chuck lock back, um, and you can put the SDS bit in. You can hear that click into place. And that's lock solid. Nothing is going to pull that out until I release it by using the collar of the, of the chuck. And what that means is that regardless of what I'm drilling into, how as long as the drill is powerful enough, that drill bit is not going to slip in the chuck. It's going to stay in contact with the electric motor. All of the motor, the force from the motor, is going to drive that drill bit round and round and round. Um, these, the generally SDS drills are, are more powerful than than standard drills. This one's actually only 650 watt, but it's still a very, very powerful drill. You saw that I like, moved the, uh, the handle around there to, so that I can move that around to hold it firmly against anything that I'm gonna use. Again, this particular drill has um, a depth gauge, so you can slide that down into position, and by keeping that locked in position, I know that every hole I drill is gonna be exactly the same depth. Um, a lot of drills are supplied with depth gauges, not just SDS drills, and it makes life easier if you've got a lot of repetitive work to do. Um, this particular drill has, again has got a hammer action and a normal drill action, um, but it's a hammer action that we're interested in really for, to demonstrate the SDS. I've got an old piece of paving slab here that I'm going to drill into if the camera follows me down. I'll just pick this up from outside. Um, And you can see that that's a really solid, finely packed piece of concrete, um, which sometimes with a, um, a, a chuck and a chuck key with a masonry bit in there, because that's so finely packed, because the drill has to work so hard, the bit can start slipping in the chuck and you think you're drilling and you're not. Um, and, it, and it ends up being a much more harder job than, than it needs to be. So an SDS bit, we can get a close up of the of the bit itself. If I revolve that very, very slowly, you can see what that looks like. It's got a couple of guiding slots and a couple of locking slots. And again, that simply pushes straight in. And that is locked completely. Again, I'll show you. I'll pull the collar back and slide the SDS behind. So, an advanced system has been around for a long, long time, and as I say, if you know what SDS stands for, I certainly can't remember. Um, I've got a feeling it's, uh, it's German, but if you'd like to stick your answer on Facebook or, or Twitter, um, we, we're not offering any prizes, but we'll certainly say thank you and we'll share that around everybody that needs to know.